it's just so amazing eating you know freshly harvested fruit it's at its peak like taste and performance uh, in terms of like nutrients dense it's not sitting around and you just feel alive and you feel connected to this whole space Southwest Fresno is considered a food desert or a food insecure area. Uh, so basically what that means is that there isn't a lot of access to healthy food. So there isn't access to food in general. Um, and so a lot of the people that live here in the Yosemite Village apartment complex or the Mariposa Meadows apartment complex um, have to travel. If you don't have a vehicle, you have to take the bus system and you have limited capacity with the bus. So you're very limited on food choices. As, as a direct way to try to address that food insecurity issue here in Southwest is to provide a space where people can come and grow their own fruits and veggies. The design for Yovo first came about in 2016. Uh, so with permaculture design, you incorporate um, the things that are already found on site. So like the trees that are already here, the valley oaks that are already here, planting more native plants that are would already naturally be found in these spaces. And then you use the landscape kind of to design around it. And so we did a workshop on permaculture design. And then we had residents choose different aspects of a design that they would want to incorporate. Um, they really liked uh, having a circle where they can walk around and do exercise and so that was where Yovo got its, um, its shape, right? Its, its circular shape. So there's 94 community garden plots. Um, right now there's 34 residents that are gardening in them. Most of them live here in Yosemite Village and Mariposa Meadows. Anyone that lives in 93706 can rent out a plot. They are $18 for six months or $35 for a year. Basically, you can come in and utilize the area. We have compost ready. We have drip irrigation too that we help people install. We also have a farm training program where we're training potential or future farmers on how to grow food in an urban lot, smaller scale, more intense, using more compost and more regenerative practices uh, that not only give back to their local communities, but give back to the soil and absorb also carbon from the air and store it underground too. So it also helps with climate change. There are people who come and they're migrant workers and uh, they don't have any land where they're renting or anything like that. And this gives them the opportunity to use the skills that they learn in other places in order to provide food for themselves and their family without costing as much, as well as in general, giving people an opportunity to reconnect with the land and reconnect with their food and exercise that sovereignty. So as Fresno Metro, we do all of the outreach. So we go door to door, do some canvassing to inform of residents around the area uh, that this is an opportunity. Only people that, are, uh, that live in the 93706 area can sign up for the garden at this point. Uh, we really want to do uh, due diligence of making sure that we do outreach to the 93706 community uh, before we open it up to the rest of, of other people that want to come. We do engage others that may not live in 93706 as we have volunteer days every Tuesday and Thursday. Some of the big things that volunteers helped us do was set up the underground irrigation system. Uh, they helped us outline some of the plots. They helped us build our, our big hoop house. We just finished some ADA raised beds right now for anyone that uh, needs wheelchair access. If it wasn't for the residents and the garden leadership team, this project would not have been able to, to come to fruition. When it was an empty lot, uh, we came in and put in the roads and put in the main paths, but we didn't bring the gardens, we didn't bring the residents. Yeah, it's just been great to see everyone grow, like how many people are now a part of this project.